Before Apple introduced focus mode on iOS 15, you'd silence your phone by hitting the little switch on the side of it and that put your phone in do not disturb. But that all changed with focus mode. And it's something you may or may not know about and something we're going to talk about today. I actually didn't start using focus mode until this recent release of iOS 17. But today we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about focus mode, what it is, how to use it, and how you can set it up. Let's get started. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Today we're going to talk about focus mode and how to use it. So before we get going, please take a moment to like and subscribe to be notified when I post new how-to videos that will help you get more functionality out of your iOS devices. Okay, so what exactly is focus mode and why do you need it? App will introduce focus modes to basically give you different profiles that you can trigger with by different events on your phone. So when you arrive to work, you can have a location trigger that turns on uh, a work profile with different icons and things like that. Uh, when you arrive to, let's say you go to the library, you can have a location trigger based off of that, or you could do it by time and you could do it by app. So when you open a specific app, it'll trigger focus mode. And that's the great thing about them. They trigger uh, different things that happen on your phone, so you get almost a completely different phone when you trigger a focus mode. When you go into, say, your work focus mode, maybe you just want to have all your work icons on your display or different widgets displayed. Your wallpaper can change. Um, even your watch face can change. So you can completely change the entire look of your phone based on a focus mode. It's a pretty cool thing to try out if you haven't done so already. And focus modes will carry across all of your devices. So if you've got a MacBook in your phone, you trigger a focus mode of do not disturb on your iPhone, it's gonna trigger do not disturb on your MacBook. And you can turn that on and off. So they will carry across all your iOS devices or your Apple devices, or you can um, only trigger them on certain devices. So um, let's get into it. Let's look at focus mode, how you turn it on, and different things you can do with it. Let's start off with how you get to focus mode. So if I go into settings, you'll see focus mode um, a little bit towards the bottom, right below sounds and haptics and above screen time. If you've never used it before and you go into focus mode, there are three that are set up for you to start and you can set up each one of these. So there's a personal sleep and work and then do not disturb is automatically there. Once you've set up a focus mode, if you swipe down from the top right, you'll see focus there. And if you tap on that, you'll also be presented with options to set up either the personal work or sleep focus modes. Okay, now that we know how to find focus, let's go in and let's set up a focus mode. So if I go into settings, you'll see that I have some different focus modes that I've created, uh, just a couple. I'm gonna create a new focus mode and you get a choice of either you can create a custom one or you can select one of these predefined to start off with. And a lot of people talk about reading and using a Kindle or an e-reader so they're not distracted um, by your phone, but you could actually create a focus mode for reading that will limit your notifications so you're not distracted while you're using um, your phone as an e-reader. So let's go in and do reading and I'm gonna customize this mode I can edit and choose a different name, um, a different icon, and a color for the icon, so I have the ability to do that. And then I can choose the people that I want to get notifications from in this mode. Since I'm reading, I, I don't want to be distracted at all, so I'm not going to choose anybody here. I can choose the apps that I want to be notified from. And it's going to give me uh, probably my most used apps here that I go into often. I'm going to uncheck a bunch. Um, in this case, maybe I want to get notified for home events or things that are happening on my ring. So I'm going to leave those two checked off. And then you have options available as well for notifications. So you can show them on the lock screen, notification bads, badges, and uh, silence notifications. So you have some additional options there. You can customize your screen. Um, in this case, I'm going to use the weather screen that is there. You can add widgets, so it's a completely new screen that you have available that you can you can set up for this focus mode that you have. I'm gonna leave the default settings here, and I'm gonna set a wallpaper pair 
So the home screen and the lock screen look the same. And then within my schedule, I'm gonna leave smart activation off. You can have it so you can turn that on. So it'll automatically activate when it thinks you might wanna be using this, this focus mode. But you can do a schedule where you uh, trigger it by time or location or an app. So in this case, I'm gonna do an app. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and I'm gonna choose books. So while I'm using books, um, this focus mode will trigger. And then you can add some filters in as well. And depending on the apps you have loaded on your phone, you can create some filter locations or filter inboxes. Um, for example, you could do something with Spark where I only get notified for specific email accounts. So we're gonna go back. We're not gonna use any focus filters for now, so I'm gonna cancel. And that is it. That is as easy it is to create a focus mode. If I swipe down from the bottom top right, I can click on my focus and I have these focus modes available. So to show you what this looks like, if I go back to my home screen, you'll see it looks like this currently. Um, my icons are all gone. If I swipe down and choose my reading focus, you'll see a change has happened there. And if I swipe back up, I now have the weather app here and I can add any apps I might want to add here. So if I go and search for my books app, hold this down, add this to my home screen, and then if I swipe down again and jump back over to my other mode, you'll see that um, the color changes again and your apps can change as well. So one thing to note on focus modes, if I swipe down, and let's just say I turn off my focus modes completely and I swipe back up. One thing that'll happen is your pages are, are going to kind of come back and the different focus modes you use will show up for um, when you d you're not in a focus mode. So the idea here is you actually stay in a focus mode all the time. And I'm always in a personal focus mode. If I'm not in work focus mode or one of my other ones, it goes back to my personal focus mode. And that lets me customize my home screen. So the home screen you're seeing right now is actually my work focus mode. If I swipe, this is actually travel. If I swipe again, um, you'll see the one we just created. So your focus modes will show um, up in that non-focus mode. So that's something to be aware of as well. Okay, so one other thing I want to show you uh, before we kind of wrap up focus modes is shortcuts. And this is where you can get really cool and do some fun stuff with, with the focus mode and shortcuts. So if I go into shortcuts, I can add a new shortcut and I can add an action. I'm going to look for focus, scroll down, and I'm going to set focus. So I'm going to turn on one of my existing focus modes. Um, let's call it travel. I'm going to turn this on until it's turned off. Next thing I want to do, uh, maybe I want to play some music. So when I uh, run the shortcut, it's going to turn my focus into travel, which is going to uh, minimize any distractions I might have. And maybe I want to play some music so I can select play music. I can choose the music I want to play. Um, let's go and just pick um, an album here. Just one song that we've got. So I'm going to play this album. And then uh, let's say I also want to get directions while I'm doing this. So I want to open my directions because I want to see where I'm going. So I can choose current location to a destination. So let's change this. So we've got this changed. I'm going to be going from Irvine to Tustin. I'm going to use maps. I can change that as well if I wanted to, but that's just going to be it. So my shortcut it, open directions is going to turn my travel mode on my travel focus mode on it's going to play some music and it's going to get directions for me so when i get in the car i can run this shortcut or i could even ask siri to run the shortcut for me um, let's see what happens when i run it so i'm going to tap on open directions it's going to turn on the travel mode for me there and there's my directions so it's actually going to run the directions and the music started playing as well and there's my music. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video uh, talking about focus mode and how you set it up. 
and you got some insight into how it works. If you haven't tried it, please give it a shot and let me know in the comments if you tried it and how it worked out for you. I'd love to uh, see if you went followed my directions on, on how to set up focus mode and if it worked out and what kind of, what did you trigger with it? I'd love to hear that as well. Did you use location-based triggers or app-based triggers, time-based triggers? Um, and if you went into the shortcuts to kind of experiment with that a little bit, I'd love to hear that too in the comments. So let me know what you think and we'll talk to you later.